Welcome to the Windows 8 channel and today in this Back to Basics episode we're going to take a look at the privacy settings in Windows 8. There's a lot of privacy settings in Windows 8 to help and keep you as safe as possible and make Windows work for you in the way that it should. So uh, depending on the settings that you choose it really can have profound effects on apps and programs that you use in your computer also. So to check for the privacy settings in Windows 8.1 all you have to do is either go to the charms bar for the search or go to the search on the start screen and simply type privacy settings and you'll see that privacy settings will be here. As you see there's a lot of settings for different devices but these are all in the privacy settings so just click privacy settings once you're here you'll see that there are several types of privacy settings there's the general privacy there's location webcam microphone and other devices on the left so we'll check at each of these different sections first in the general you have this what is the general windows privacy settings. So for example, let apps access my name, picture, and other account info. You have on and off. This means that an app, for example, that wants to make a purchase through maybe your Microsoft account or an app that requires to have information that comes from your account. So, you know, very often in your Microsoft account, you'll have a picture of yourself. You'll have a picture of something. So all of that information can be accessed. If you're afraid of that, you can turn this off. And this is kind of a general switch. The page here, the general page, switches all of these actions off for every apps that might actually use that information. Second, let apps use my advertising ID for experiences across apps. Turning this off will reset your ID. What is an advertising ID? It's a little bit like Google. Google, when you make searches, knows you. Knows you from all the searches that you've been doing through the weeks, months, and will often put ads that will depend on what you searched for. So for example, to make these videos, I often search for um, you know, computer problems and you know fixes for that. And I often have ads about you know your computer's running slow your com this is the same thing but in apps in windows you might have noticed that when you don't pay for an app very often the app from the microsoft store will come with ads now the advertising id is next to your um, microsoft account so it means that now as you use your computer this id knows you more and more and will try to send you ads that are more interesting to you that will have more chances of being clicked on by you so this is the advertising ID if you turn this off it means that it doesn't mean you won't have any ads anymore it just means that it's not going to be able to choose the ads depending on your own um, you know, way of working with your computer and what you like and so on. So, uh, you know, it. of course, it all has to do with tracking. And um, unfortunately, tracking is part of using the web and the internet. So um, that's up to you to decide if you want to have ads that will be tailored to your needs or not using this advertising ID and what it means by turning it turning this off it resets your ID it means that if you turn this off all the data will be erased which means that if you decide that you want to turn it back on it's gonna reset from zero so it's gonna have to learn from you again turn on smart screen filter to check web content or URLs that Windows Store apps use. The smart screen filter is part of Internet Explorer. It's part of uh, the basic Windows functions into the web and the smart screen is there to try and prevent you from going to uh, malicious websites for example. And so what this does is that it turns on or off the filter 
that decides if when you are on the Microsoft Store or an app where you are going if it's safe or not for you. So um, I would suggest that this smart screen is always on. It doesn't, you know, work that well, I would say, but it does work. So it does prevent you sometimes from going to websites and uh, tell you that, you know, these websites that you will be visiting are malicious or might contain viruses and so on. Next one, you have show text suggestions based on what I type and write on this PC. Turning this off will reset suggestions. Once again, this is a knowledge that the computer gets from what you are searching, what you are typing. If you are always typing uh, in searches or on your computer about, say, uh, computer hardware, well, don't be surprised that when you start typing somewhere and you type maybe uh, computer, it might want to complete it with computer security, computer um, antivirus, and so on. So it actually learns from what you type because it knows what type of information you are searching for. And it is useful because in my case, I've noticed that it often completes what I actually want to search for. And when you search for or when you type the same information over and over again, it also will show the one that you use the most at the top. It will be the first thing. Uh, an example here, when I search for the privacy settings, the first time I typed privacy settings, I haven't gone into my privacy settings for a long time. So it was like third or fourth and the search in the charms or in the search on Windows 8. And when I started typing privacy, it finally popped privacy settings as the first one. But when I typed it, the, the, the first time I typed it, it was like third or fourth. And suddenly it's now the first one. And this is the text suggestions. This is what it is. It actually knows, depending on what you search and what you do, how to actually help you go faster, basically. So it's not that bad of a thing, actually. But it is true that it means that your computer learns from you, that Windows knows more about you as you use it. And finally, the last option here is let websites provide locally relevant content by accessing my language list. What that means is that you have different languages possible in your computer and what the apps, mostly apps, uh, but even in Internet Explorer, when you actually go on the web, you'll see that if, for example, your computer settings are set to, say, Spanish and a Spanish keyboard, don't be surprised that the content that they're going to uh, try to push to you might actually be in that language. Um, I have two languages on my computer, French and English, because I speak French also. And when I switch things to French, well, I get French language content, for example, in the news app. And because I have two languages installed, actually, when I use the news app, it actually tells me what content do you want? Do you want the news Canada French or do you want the news Canada English? So this is why this slider exists. If you want to have relevant information, once again, it's by using your defaults um, on your uh, computer. So this is the general tab of the privacy settings. Check for the other videos. I will be posting videos for the location tab, the webcam, Microsoft uh, microphone sorry, tab, and uh, explaining what they mean to you and this uh, back to basics on the privacy settings of your Windows 8 computer. And, you know, by understanding this, you might actually be able to set your computer right to be the safest computer possible on the web. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know, and hopefully, Enjoy your videos and welcome back to the official Windows 8 channel. Thank you for watching.